Hello everyone, my name is Iris France, which I'll be room. Today we're going to continue to talk about buying and selling, and we're going to revisit our Slosky equation. So in my previous video, the rate of change, we end up with this equation, and that's equation 8.5. So if you don't remember what I was talking about, then you want to take a look at the video below to have a quick review. So that's what we end up with. And now in chapter 9, we have buying and selling. Therefore, our Slavsky equation is going to have one extra term that is called the endowment income effect. So what is that? We know when the price of Gu Wan changes, um, first of all, that's going to change my income. Why is that? Because we have endowment omega 1 and omega 2. Now the price of Gu Wan changes, that means when I sell my endowment, I'm going to have a different income. So my income is going to change. And once my income changes, that is going to cause my consumption bundle to change. So combine them together, that will be the endowment income effect. So endowment income effect is equal to the change in demand due to changing income, so the story here, times the change in income due to change in price, and that's the story here. And put it mathematically, Changing demand due to changing income is equal to delta S1M divided by delta M. We know that my income changes, so my demand has changed. And what is the change in income due to changing price? Well, mathematically, there will be delta M divided by delta P1. But then at the same time, I also know that this term is actually equal to omega 1. So how do I know this? Well, look at our um, initial endowment value. So we know that P1 omega 1 plus, oh, oops, sorry, P2 omega 2 is equal to my income. And now I know the price of uh, GU1 has changed and therefore my income has changed. So I know that, hey, omega 1 is equal to delta M divided by delta P1. So I can put this term back here. So you can see that I can rewrite my um, Slavsky equation. So here is the total effect that is equal to our substitution effect. And here I'm just writing everything the same way. And here is my endowment income effect, EIE. So my EIE is equal to this term, delta X1M divided by delta M times this term. But I know that this term is just my omega 1. So I have a new equation, and I can rearrange it. I can pull out delta x1m divided by delta m, and inside of the bracket, I have omega 1 minus x1. So this is the Slavsky equation revisited. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.